So welcome to this chapter of cells, EMF and internal resistance. Now, if you try to understand what is a cell, you can say a device, a device which has a, which has a stored potential, stored potential and it gives a steady current steady current so this is what you can understand as cell now in cell you will often see like in a battery there is this positive and there is this negative so we see that if you connect this positive to an electronic circuit and then we connect it to our negative we know that because there is a potential difference so now as soon as we have completed the series this electrons that are present over here or this charge that is present over here now basically electrons will be present over here now say suppose this is charge positive charge but if you want the correct notation you can see that this is electron so electrons are clubbed over here and because of this electrons that are clubbed over it's trying to get out it's trying to get out as soon as you complete a series electrons will start flow and try to maintain this equilibrium this potential difference will be try to be nullified and we know all things moves from higher potential to lower potential so this is negative potential and this is positive potential so the negative potential the electrons will try to move over here it will pass through the electronic circuits say so suppose this is a bulb now what is the function of the bulb you have a high resistance because this electrons move it moves in collisions we know it collides and because it collides it, ge it generates heat heat is generated now with suitable gases we know that this heat that is generated over here because of this resistance and this resistance is because of this collision it can glow we can because by using some gases we can glow this heat and that is how the electronic appliances are being used see light that we use we are allowing the electrons to pass through the resistance which in turn helps us to glow this light and then after some time this electrons come back over here and it has done its function now the question why i often see is what about mechanical elect system say suppose mechanical system there is say suppose fan so there is nothing which needs to be glowed over here so why does the fan move that is the question now i will just like to give you a bit of an introduction and that is because of due to the flow of electrons there is a flow of current because flow of electrons there is a flow of current that is in the opposite direction say and because of this flow of current there is a change in magnetic field there is a change in magnetic field magnetic field and because of this change in magnetic field we see that it rotates because there is a flow of electricity that it generates a magnetic field and because this magnetic field is generated this rotates the fan and this is how we can see how electrical appliances are being used okay so now we have seen a bit of a function of what cells let's move further in our next slide so now we have seen the functions of the cell but how exactly cells are being made well you see in an electrolytic solution i hope that you have come across the chapter of chemistry now it should be covered in your class 11 and your in your previous class 10 science but still i want to give you a quick recap so this is our solutions and these are its two nodes so the positive part gets attracted over here and the negative part gets attracted over here and because of this 
a potential is being developed a potential is being developed in these two rods that is this is positively charged and this is negatively charged as soon as i connect this to the negative charge starts flowing or you can say the positive charge starts flowing from this rod to this rod and it nullifies the whole after some time it nullifies the whole system that is no charges will flow so what you have to notice is that there is a potential initially that is v plus and there is a negative potential initially that is v minus and the total potential difference say i have drawn this particular cell if you remember this is negative this this is nothing but the two rods these two rods are attached over here and this is the whole solution say so the total electromotive force emf this is known as electro motive force the total electromotive force emf is actually equal to the potential at v plus plus the potential at v minus and this should always be greater than zero only then charges will start to flow this is what is known as electromotive force or vm or emf this is emf so this is the basic concept of emf now because of this say suppose because of this say suppose now this is my positive and this is my negative now there is a potential difference in them there is a potential difference there is a difference so if i try to pass positive charge from here to bring this over here say this is a situation when i try to push a another positive charge from here to here now i will see that no charge is flowing why because this is positive and this is also positive so this particular cell has a potential of its own and because of this potential this is obstructing the flow of like charges towards itself so in a way it is acting as a resistance in a way we know that see this is positive and all the positive charges are trying to come out over here and we are trying to push another positive charge so positive positive will obviously repel so in a way this particular cell is giving a resistance now this what is the value of this resistance the value of this resistance is its potential difference the potential that is we know this as the internal resistance internal resistance and we can overcome this internal resistance but still there will be resistance but we can pass positive charge over here only when v external this is v external is greater than v internal when the potential difference at this two point will be greater than the potential difference between this two we can pass charge and this will in turn behave as a resistance and this is what we know as a concept of internal resistance and the total potential say suppose this is v equals to i r and this is actually given by if this is a total current that is being flowing over here so we know i r i r is actually equal to electromotive force minus i r that is the current that is being that, that for the potential is equal actually equals to electromotive force minus i r that for i is actually equal to the current that will flow is actually equal to the total electromotive force divided by the resistance plus the internal resistance so if this is a total electromotive force if a emf battery has been connected so what is the total current that is flowing is actually equal to the resistance of this wire plus the internal resistance so this is what you can understand